you guys, happy January 19th. Can't believe it's like going on the end of January. Um, Brad and I are headed to good old, you guys are not in focus anymore, good old Wally World. You can't see me. Um, um, we are heading to uh, Walmart to get some stuff for the chest freezer. Hold on. Um, we are heading to Walmart to get stuff to fill up the chest freezer. So that's what we are doing. It's gorgeous, but it's a little cool um, out. So anyways, let's head to Wally World. I was just at Walmart the other day and our Walmart that we usually go to was starting to see some shorted shortages on certain things and it is what it is obviously at this point but now that we have the chest freezer we're not going to go try to like hoard anything obviously but we are taking advantage of the fact that we have the extra space to get some things that we can freeze like cheese meat bread that kind of stuff so we're just going to go stock up on a few things just to have them and also to take advantage of the fact that we got the chest freezer i mean that's the whole point obviously so Brad just had to work this morning for a little bit um, and now we're going to head to Walmart just to get a few things. I didn't have to work this morning, well, it's called OT. Oh yeah, it was OT, that's right. Well, anyways, we still went to work. So uh, let's head to Wally World and get a few things for the chest freezer and then we're going to come back home. I really didn't have anything planned this morning. I slept awful last night, so bad. I was up so many times last night, woke up on my belly so many times. And when that happens, like I always like have my hands underneath the pillows. And when that happens, like my neuropathy, like causes my hands and my arms to be like completely dead weight and I can't feel anything. Oh, it was awful. Like so bad. Uh, but what are you gonna do? So anyways, let's go to Wally World. Oh, Brad's making a pit stop. Chick-fil-A. What are you getting? Tea? Something? Well, that was fun. Brad had to go outside to get a cart. As you guys saw, there was no carts. <laughs> Yay! Got done at the crazy Walmart, and now Brad's getting his car washed. You guys want to see the car washed? <laughs> Just got gas and um, heading home now. <laughs> Here we go. I always love a good car wash. Love the colors. <laughs> uh, oh, it's like changing colors in here. The lights. It's because of the lights. I know, that's what I said. The lights. It's like a disco party. <laughs> uh, so the Walmart that we went to today was just as bad, if not worse, than the other one. Like crazy 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 right no <laughs> we ended up not just getting drinks at chick-fil-a we got dinner to take home which we'll have to reheat up um but it's okay so we'll see you guys at home uh definitely waited in line longer than we um shopped but it was just nuts in there like it's just it doesn't help that it's snowbird season so like it's just so much busier because of that too. So anyways, soon you guys won't be able to hear me because of this. <laughs> See y'all at home. So we did this when we got home from Wally World, getting stuff to stock up on the freezer, um, on the freezer, in the freezer. Um, Brad was able to hang this um, picture here outside of the Lanai bath, which is directly behind me. And then in the hallway here, we finally, finally hung up this photo. Well, picture, frame, thing, I don't know. Um, we bought this like last year when the house is still being built. I think we found it like either at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, one of those places. I think it was actually Marshalls, but I could be wrong. It just sort of maps out different places throughout Florida. And I just think, the artwork and stuff is really cool. And of course, there's Cinderella Castle 
and of course there's a giraffe which is representing the Brevard uh, Zoo so of course giraffes are my favorite so <laughs> we had to get it we just obviously had to get this and it wasn't very expensive I think it was like $20 if I remember correctly but it's just nice to finally get it hung on the wall good morning guys it's early I've been up for like oh I'd say almost an hour it's like 7:52. um we are getting our shelving done today today's the 20th is that what today's date is oh you would think I should know because the floor uh, not the flooring that's all done finally yeah today's the 20th um I just was starting a load of wash a little bit ago um and now I'm like gonna make a cup of coffee <laughs> um I just was straightening things up a little bit from last night that we didn't do because we both went to bed at a fairly decent time. Sorry, I had to go get a different battery. Um, I'm just not sleeping the best, like, whatsoever. My back is just not having a good night's sleep, and um, it's just making it really rough in the morning, can you tell? So, I'm sort of glad today is um, the shelving day. I don't think it's going to take long for what they're going to do. Um, I don't, I really don't foresee it taking that long. So, I think it'll be a good day for just some relaxation. Uh, yeah. Um, let me walk you into the our closet and I can show you guys sort of where we're putting the shelf. Um, we have stuff laid out on the floor again in here. It's like back and forth, back and forth kind of thing. But what are you gonna do? In here, we're just gonna get like, um, I think it's four rows or three rows. I forget how many they can do down um, of shelving for like shoes and stuff. So we're just gonna have it centered right there. It's like super inexpensive, like less than $100 to do both closets or right around there, I think Brad said. So that's why we're going with this, you know, suggestion as far as shelving for the time being. I would really like to get some actual closet organizers in here and get like two rows of um, hanging clothes, spots for drawers, like pull out drawers, that kind of thing. But it's just not in the budget right now. And we just want to get some of this stuff up off the carpet in here and organize our shoes. So that's how we're doing the shelving situation. Um, yeah. And then by the time we get um, a dresser, hopefully sometime this year, once we find one um, that we like and it's a good price and it's not going to take forever to get in, then we can... Um, even empty out the closet even more because some of the stuff that I normally put in dressers is in here so it's coming together it's a work in progress so yeah um, that's what we're doing in that room and then we're adding it into the craft room craft room which I showed y'all like a couple of vlogs back black back um, I need this coffee I am not awake whatsoever uh, yeah, I've been thinking of like uh, some stuff that I want to get done today. I still have not done the painting of the um, trays. You can tell I need the coffee like right in front of me. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe doing that. Um, but I. Uh, I'm gonna wait till they get done. They're supposed to be here between nine and 12. Anytime like a contractor comes, at least with our experience, uh, some will show up like early, some won't show up at all. Um, but for the most part, like they usually show up, you know, on time and everything. But um, this company, uh, we've never had them come out to the house before, so. It's one of those things, we're just, we're newbies to them. So, in case they come early, I wanted to like, be up and dressed and ready and things like that. So, 
uh, even though that their arrival time is in between 9 and 12, it's just better to be up and ready versus being caught off guard, right? So anyways, I'm going to sit down, uh, drink my coffee. Ugh, sorry, toasted coconut this morning. And I'm just going to turn on the news for a little bit. Didn't even watch the news at all, barely yesterday. So just catch up on that. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just rambling because I'm not awake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can y'all just send like good luck our way? Uh, seriously, we have like the worst luck. What have we done? We've done nothing. <gasps> like seriously. <sighs> uh, guess what? I thought the window was from 9 to 12, but I checked my calendar and it's actually 9 to 11 and it's 11.30. I don't know what it is with our luck with this house and contractors. I, I just, I'd be afraid to ever move forward with putting in a pool because we just have the worst luck. Like, I just don't, can we just have something go right for once? I know it was just simple sh um, shelving installation, but like we physically were paying for that. It was a hundred bucks to have both rooms done. Like, you know, it wasn't that expensive. Um, I get it, it wasn't a big job, but like, <laughs> just got a call and they're gonna have to reschedule for tomorrow. So there's that. <sighs> yeah. I just don't know. I did forget to fill you guys in. Um, last night after we got home from Walmart, we did get a phone call from the flooring slash tile company, which um, still needs to fix the tile in our bathroom. They are coming next Saturday. Yeah, not this coming Saturday, but next Saturday to repair that. And somebody else is coming like two days before to remove the shower door and then they're coming back on the 31st to replace it because I guess you can't use the shower or the bath 24 hours before they reseal it just to make sure that there's no moisture and water, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I was really looking forward to getting the, the closets like somewhat better today and I was making that my plan this afternoon. Yeah, it's not happening. So, uh, seriously, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna figure out something else to do today. Um, I do have um, those trays to paint, so maybe I'll do that and get that done. But I just, oh, like I feel like I need another cup of coffee too. I need to like straighten up this mess behind me too. Like this counter has been just, I have stuff sitting here just cause um, I haven't done anything with it, but <laughs> yay. Uh, so yeah, coming tomorrow, first thing tomorrow at nine. Um, we'll see. Uh, they said that they'll take um, a little bit off of the fee, so I guess it will be a little bit less than 100 I don't know. He didn't tell me how much. He said he would get back to me, um, which is fine, like, whatever. But, like, I just... <laughs> it's just our luck lately. I just wish it would change. Like, I just wish it would change. I'm going to clear off the coffee bar. Well, not the whole thing, but I'm going to get those trays um, and I'm going to get my paint out and I guess I'm going to do that. 
but I'm first have to clear off this counter. Um, I think I need to make another cup of coffee too. And yeah, I'm gonna paint out here on the counter. I'll just put stuff down to protect it so I don't damage our brand new kitchen countertops. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So once I get everything situated, I'll give you guys a little before and after and go from there. Oh, that's Brad calling because I just sent him a text telling them they didn't show up. So, uno momento. Okay. <laughs> it is five o'clock almost. It's 4.51. I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice, but I have been on the phone for literally over two hours. We got a phone call from Highland Homes Customer Care and I was on the phone with them for over two hours talking and I don't want to say too much to jinx ourselves or to get our hopes up but this is the first person that I have spoken to or that Brad's spoken to that I feel like Sorry, I'm getting dinner ready. That I feel like we're getting somewhere. Um, and quite possibly getting somewhere in the sense of getting stuff done. And one of the big things is with the leak that happened in the bathroom again this past weekend, um, he agreed with us that the drywall should have been fixed the first time but he's like in all honesty he's like it's probably a good thing that we didn't replace it the first time because of the fact that we got a leak a second time so he's like yeah as a homeowner myself i would want that addressed right away too and you're right like it needs to be taken care of so there's a few other things that we talked about well a lot of things because it was a two-hour conversation and I feel like he was being very genuine um, throughout the entire conversation and uh, during several moments of the conversation different phrases came from him like I'm so sorry I can't believe that happened like are you serious like it was those kind of responses so I'm not gonna say much more than that because he's gonna get back to me he had to go to another appointment but I I'm trying to have hope because I feel like this may be our like first chance to finally like get some stuff done and I feel like it's the first time that I got stuff off of our chest that it was just somebody who feels who I felt like was genuinely concerned about all the stuff that's happened and that's still happening so there's that yeah I don't know I didn't get anything done this afternoon uh, because I, I was on the phone with him for two hours over two hours and I was on the phone with um, another person who is basically like Highland Homes is underneath like Berkshire Hathaway and then there's Clayton properties and then Highland Homes so I was on the phone with them for a couple times because like we were trying to figure out why somebody hasn't gotten back to us and we thought somebody wasn't getting back to us from Clayton Properties but it was actually Highland Homes. So anyways, it all worked out that we spoke to somebody finally but we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to go get dinner in the oven and go from there I'm just gonna call it a day because my my voice literally my throat is hurting right now like I need to get some tea hot tea um, because like I'm straining my voice my vocal cords are straining from talking for so long uh, yeah um, but I did get something in the mail today um, which luckily the UPS guy was so sweet to push it inside the house for me um, and that is our filing cabinet for in the office. Oh, there's like not a picture of it, but we got, um, it's from Bush Furniture. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. 
hopefully it's all good inside but he like pushed it inside but pushed the rug forward but whatever it's fine brad's on his way home so i'll have brad move it and stuff but at least it was inside and not sitting outside anymore so that's a good thing so anyways i'm gonna call it a day for my voice uh so i can go make some tea make some dinner and um we'll see i don't know we'll go from there um i don't know i guess it's a positive thing today with the uh Shopping people not showing up, supposedly coming out tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. I just, I just want something good to finally happen, you know? Like, and don't get me wrong, we have a roof over our head, I get it. Uh, I just, I'm tired of dealing with the issues. So, anyways, microwave stopped too, cooking our veg in there too, so. Anyways, I'm gonna, get this stuff done for dinner and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow after they come to do um, the shelving I'll show you the after once that's done anyways I'm gonna stop chatting okay I'll see you guys tomorrow